Uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this uh, series of uh, BEO uh, A6 uh, electrical A6 power system and machine exam and this ex question is about three phase and power calculations and this exam this question was given in December 2022 but before answering this question I'd like to highlight something very important I noticed now this is the question that I want to solve and I found a similar question that was uh, that appeared before this exam a couple of times. Okay. Now, when you look to this question, they are identical until part B is exactly the same thing. Okay. Word by word. Okay. Now, when you come to part C in the question that I will not solve, part C, it doesn't really make any sense from the English perspective. It says if the supply frequency is reduced by 5%, and the load by 10% if the synchronous motor determines the power angle of four rated voltage frequency and torque. So that this part doesn't make any sense. So I think they figure out this after, I mean, this question unfortunately appeared a couple of times, then the BEO figure out there is an issue, then they replace it with this part C. This is what I, I think what, what, what happened. So that is the question that I will be uh, basically uh, solving. So here, it says that we have a factory, okay? So this is a factory, and that factory is basically is uh, using, this is, a, of course, it will be a three-phase supply, okay? Uh, supplying power to that uh, factory. So it consumes 250 kVA, and at 0.95 power factor lagging, okay? Uh, now, a synchronous motor, come, we, we have a synchronous motor here, motor, and we connect it to the same supply, okay? And this motor works at 0.2 power factor lag. Now, one thing we know about synchronous motor that you can control the power factor, and you can control it if it's leading or lagging. So you can control the value and you can control basically if it's leading or lagging. Now, the power that is intake by the synchronous motor is 10 kilowatt. This is how much power is basically using. Okay, determine the following. First, the total real power consumption. Okay, so the power consumption of the motor, P of the motor is basically known as 10 kilowatt. We need to find the power of the factory, and this is equal to S times the power factor, which is basically 250 kVA times the 0.95, and this will give me a total power of 237.5 kilowatt. So the power total, the real power total, is PM of the motor plus P of the factory. You add this value to this, you get to 47.5 kilowatt. Very straightforward, very easy. This is part A. Let's see part B. It says here in part B, what is the overall power factor? So you have two loads. One of them is 0.95, the other is 0.2. How to find the total power factor? And basically here you need to find the P total and the Q total of the two. And then you need to construct, you have it as part triangle. So you need to find P total, which I already have. I need to find now Q total. And then from this, we'll find theta. Cosine theta will be the, the total power, power factor. So that is the strategy to use basically the power triangle. Okay. Now let's start from load number one. Okay. Or the factory itself. Okay. So uh, here uh, we have the theta of the factory is equal to cosine inverse of the 0.95 and this will give me 18.19 this is your angle okay then using the power triangle your q of the factory is equal to p of the factory times tan theta of the factory and this will give me the uh, power of the factory, which is 237.5 times 10 of the 18.19. 
and this will give me 78.04 kvar so this is how much kvr is consumed by the by the factory now we need to find theta of the motor which is equal to cosine inverse of 0.2 and this will give me 78.4 and from this you can find p sorry q of the motor is equal to p of the motor which i already know it of 10 theta of the motor and if you do that you will find this is equal to 10 10 of 78.4 and this will give me 48.99 kvar so that is the kvr from the motor this is the kvr from basically the uh, the load so your q total is equal to q of the factory plus q of the motor and this will give me 127.03 kvar so now i know the total q this is your total q i know the p total from this you can find theta theta is equal to of total now basically 10 inverse of q total divided by b total so we have everything here and this will give me 27.2 degree that is your theta total so from this your cosine theta total which is your power factor theta total cosine of 27.2 and this will give me 0.89 lagging that is the your total power factor finally what is the power factor of the synchronous motor to obtain an overall power factor of one so here it says that because as i mentioned before that the power factor of the synchronous motor can be controlled okay now to have a power factor equal to one so for the power factor to be equal to one it means that your q has to be equal to zero we have pure uh, real power now here for the factory the q is 78.04 as a positive because it consumes so you need that that your qm the q of the is minus the 78.04 this is what you need to have so that is your q which will lead to a leading power factor okay so from this if the factory now we need to what is the power factor of the of the motor actually so if the motor has this then basically you will achieve what you want now if you change the power factor you are not changing basically uh, uh you or you're changing q but you are not changing the power the power stays the same which is the 10 kilowatt so from this here your power factor of the motor is equal to cosine of tan inverse of the minus 78.04 divided by the 10 kilowatt and this will give you basically 0.127 leading not lagging because q now has to be uh, a negative uh, value